I'm just trying to make it all make sense. Me. More. You. No. Podcast. So that's what, like, like all the mental realization stuff is already there. It's just not unlocked yet. Like a video game character when you unlock a suit or a costume or power. It's just, it'll get there. You just got to keep on playing the game. Yeah, dude, I totally get that. And what you were talking about earlier, where it's like you feel like it's given to you, and we were talking about the intuitive nature surrounding that. So in Think and Grow Rich, which is written by Napoleon Hill, and it's got a documentary about it too, which is kind of like the uh, the the secret documentary. But Napoleon Hill discusses yeah. in that book, he discusses intuition a lot and like the the creative imagination and how they tie together and how it's important to find success in anything because it's ultimately kind of like the the backbone to having faith in things and being confident and a bunch of other things. But what he talks mm-hmm. about is that intuition and when you have these realizations, understandings like we're discussing that surround intuition he he believes that and this is now backed by uh quantum physics and uh, scientific backings of that nature but what he believes is that we run on frequencies vibrations which we do and so if you imagine our brains like a radio if you think about it like one of those old school radios from the 50s with the dials so you would have to dial it to the right frequency to hear the station properly And if you dialed it a little too far to the right or a little too far to the left, there was some static and you didn't get a clear frequency. But once you dialed it to the right spot, it's very clear and you could hear everything perfectly fine. Well, he believes that our brains are kind of like the tuner, your radio, and then you dial it in to the right frequency. And then from there, you receive these uh, intuition-based insights. Yeah, I agree with that. That's kind of like an idea I've also been tinkering with ever since I saw The Secret. I know we've talked about it in the past, so it's one of those things, again, you just kind of work towards. It's like in your thought process somewhere in there, and you delve into it at certain times of your life. So, I mean, I've always had this theme of like revisiting themes I've already already visited, and I come back and get a deeper understanding of that theme or subject or knowledge. But it's like always running in the back burner. Sometimes it'll, it'll take the back burner and, you know, you don't think about it at all. And then it comes back to you in a heavy way. I'm like, okay, well, we're thinking about this now. You know, because something, some documentary or book or something someone said brought that back up. And then you delve on it more with the current experience you've gotten since the last time you've talked about it. And, um, yeah, you just flesh it out some more. So it's super interesting how, like, things just come back and different thought processes and stuff come back and different subjects and whatever it may be just comes back into your life and then you think about it more and get a deeper understanding of it. And it I'm saying that'll happen, keep on happening until you die. So definitely kind of exciting, I guess. It is exciting as long as you uh, keep that mentality that it's exciting because a lot of people give up on that. It's amazing because a lot of people give up on that even in like their childhood and teenage years. Once they get into adulthood, it's all gone. But what's even more interesting is that it's all scientifically backed to now. So it's like ultimately when you're talking about it, just kind of being in the back of your mind, what that is, is you're imprinting it into your subconscious and then you're thinking about it at a subconscious level. And then Napoleon Hill even mentioned this a hundred years or so and think and grow rich. But on top of that is, so you have to establish it in your subconscious. So that's what's ultimately happening is when it's brought up, it's getting ingrained partially in your subconscious. So you're, you've established the initial thoughts. Then from there, science has proven that our brain runs entirely off of connections. And that's why when you're doing like memorization, there's special techniques like, oh, you repeat something three times or you make a metaphorical comparison where you compare it to something else. So your brain's all built off of these connections and then you have to build repetition surrounding those connections. So what you're saying is, is there's the thing that's done in like the background, which is your subconscious. And then every time that we bring it up, every time that you think about it, every time that it's discussed, what you're doing is you're strengthening those connections based off of just discussing it again. And then because you're discussing it in a different way, 
you're making new comparisons, which make new con new connections. I hope this talk makes a positive impact in your life. Please subscribe to the podcast wherever you are listening or watching it. Check out other episodes, leave a review, and follow us on social media at More You Know Pod. Also, please don't forget about our sweepstakes. Retweet a clip with the hashtag The More You Know and New Podcast from our Twitter for a chance to win a signed copy of my upcoming book, The More You Know. Tag two friends in the comments on a clip on Instagram for a chance to win a brand new copy of Dean Graziosi's Millionaire Mindset or Ed Milet's Max Out. Like us or share a clip on Facebook for a chance to win a book I have read that highly inspired me, signed by me with an inspirational message. Again, thank you for listening as we propose hell with podcasting through the more you know i'm just trying to make it all make sense the more you know podcast